So, those people down in Montgomery decided to start a fight. And, well, the results are hilarious. If you take a look at Exhibit A, you feel me? And then we can take a look at Exhibit B. Now, Exhibit C is an example of what happens when you fuck around and find out. You see, I don't like people being bullies, let alone picking on one of my people. That is a perfect example of what needs to happen the next time somebody decides they want to put their hands on one of our folks. See, the moment things went from back and forth to y'all swarming that brother, well, I guess we had to teach y'all a lesson. In the words of Uncle Jerome. Yeah! They squabbling out in that! Yeah! See, what they thought was they had an easy lick. Unfortunately for them, well, our response was simply. Got me fucked up. <laughs> you see, not too many people actually got squabbles. It's always good to gang up on one person. You always feel tough, but it's one person. When the rest of our people came to the rescue, it was like the ancestors themselves was raining down strength to fight our oppressors. Now, I'm not going to tell you how you should or shouldn't feel, but to me, that felt really good. Shout out to the 334 for holding it down and protecting our people. And shout us out to all of those individuals who got involved and stopped that massacre. Thank y'all for taking up for our people. Thank y'all for standing strong. And this is what needs to happen from now on. Peace. Keep your ears and your eyes on the swivel.